if, if, if level six comes around with Nana. Well, Skyroth Mage here with an Arcane Rune. He's got that Arcane Bolt stamina out. Looks like this could be the first blood going down mid lane. Body blocks come out. Whirling Death not doing enough here. One more Bolt should get the job done. And they are going to go through, finishing off Nana. Oh! He's still alive. Oh, there's the hand. It finishes the job. Yamate securing that blood. That was a little too close for comfort, though. Yeah, it was definitely close. They almost were able to, to walk away on that one for the Timber Sun. It's just a pretty quick and easy rotation in from the Skyroth Mage with that Arcane Rune uh, that ends up being able to find it. And it does look like Afu is going to run into Ling. The Stomp is going to go as well. Oh, Ajit is still in the area. And the Echo Stomp doesn't catch the Enchantress, but is going to be able to get the Batrider. And now in a decent amount of trouble, the right click's coming in. Skyroth Mage is there as well. Bring in Zaki low and is going to not kill off the Batrider. So they take down instead the Lion. And Ajit in a little bit of trouble. They drop out the Stomp, trying to create that little bit of separation. And I think that Afu should be okay here, but... Not the way they wanted that to go in the least bit. Skyroth Mage making some space with the haste rune. Yeah, unfortunately his mana pool was just a little bit too low to really finish the job there. Could have had a triple if he was able to go through and spam those arcane. Sort of making a trade-off that, that's effective for them. But if they don't find the necro, it's just like a really terrible start. Stomp coming through. Yamate is also going to get caught out there. Chakram fallen. And that should be a kill, I think. Maybe walking away still. And the Timber Chain 40 doesn't have quite enough. Nana's going to get punished for this. Skyrath Mage is up front center. Slark rotates in as well. Oh, Warriors Gaming Unity. That was not the way to play that. I mean... They got the Necro, kill secured, but at what cost, man? That was pretty deadly. I mean, they went for a little bit, kind of bailed on the lane, not really going in, not showing herself all too frequently. They're going to rotate up. Their smoke may end up popping here as they get a little bit close to the Elder Titan. They know someone's around. Pop that concussive shot for all it's worth. They get this low, they get the silence. Looks like they are going to get the Arcane Bolt as well. Yamate, those hands doing the work. And finally, the Reaper Scythe to get the lockdown. That's five kills going the way of Towering. Only one return kill on Unity. Yeah, that's great. That's exactly what they needed. They are oh, also God. going to find the Beastmaster, and this is just, oh man, this is going to be devastating. He's got a roar. He's got no chance to cast the roar. Goodbye, son. Yeah, and this is this is what they need to do. Tari need to keep up this type of aggression, because if they take their foot off the gas at all, it's going to be really bad for them in the next couple of minutes. Um, again, already a net worth lead of around 2,000 or so with roughly 1,000 experience. It's just going to be a question of Oh, it looks like they're actually going to come and try and defend this. If they can, this would be huge. Uh, Ling oh, dropping oh. low, possibly going to go down. They find the kill. On the back lines, we got the roar from the Beastmaster going in as... Okay, Ice getting very, very low, but still up, still fighting the leap. And the Slark comes through the Pounce lands. That's going to be one kill going the way of the Slark. Perhaps the second as well. The Stomp wants to go through. One hit left means Batrider will end up falling Psyonix. Up to go back. Gets the better of this engage, and that's going to be three dead on Tarring. Skyrath is tangoing up, but I don't think that's the play. I think he's like got to hold on to that momentum. And in terms of overall net worth, they're doing all right, but Naga starting to keep pace. They have a limited amount of time before they can uh, start to fall off. But if you get the lasso off onto Wen, there is going to be the problem War caught out as Raji is able to dodge it through. Still getting that burn damage on their napalm stacks is starting to add up. Wen will go down here, but oh, Earth Spike, Finger of Death, able to take out the Necrophos. Now they're going to be bringing in uh, the rest of the raw damage there as Ice joins the party, wanting to go through onto Zaki. There's going to be a Hex up. Looks like they should get the kill here in Chantress uh, from the cliff, going with the Insta Strikes, and now they bring in Psionics to dish out the damage. Can he get the pounce here onto uh, Nana? Looks like he's looking for something. Dark Pact going through. Is there going to be the catch there? He's got that Dark Pact rolling. No, it looks like they're not going to be able to kill off the Timber Saw. He's getting low, but at least some pressure exerted onto the tower. Yeah, this is this is good stuff. They still are going to be... He was in the area. Um, it is an Observer Ward, so probably just getting a little bit of reveal happening. And now, suddenly they do spot out the Golem from Ling and going to try and catch out onto Ice as well. Maybe going to be able to find this kill. They have the vision and the okay, quick finger Skyrath of Okay, got killed. That only took two ultimates to get down a Skyrath Mage. Now, when in some trouble, they bring in the Batrider. Not even often to commit anything there. Necro's, or Reaper's Scythe, rather, does the job, giving Necro another kill. And Raji is still sitting back. He's got his lasso, but off to go for drums, so he doesn't have that blink just yet. He might still be able to get in range of this uh, lion. Yep, they're going to burn him down. Still no lasso needing to be committed, as this is going to be a support Skyrath for offlane beast and a lion trade. So I'm, I'm liking what Tauring are doing. They're taking uh, one step back, but two steps forward too like it, it they're not going to have the next level of items sometimes you see on the et like going for a yule scepter and all these other items that allow him to be a lot more oh effective. timber 
face yeah, in trouble. Yeah, he's going to get dragged around, and that's going to be a burned down robot man. Three precise to finish the job. Necrophos getting the credit for that kill, and that's going to be uh, another very important pick. That's Timber's third death of the game, and all of Unity now having to play defensively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the he's been the nice silence coming out from the Skyrath Mage. The stomp is also going to connect onto several up on the high ground lane, doing a good amount of damage. Not quite able to bring down Nana, unfortunately. And Zaki now also being dropped very low. They need to be careful to counter initiation. Roger dropping him low as well. Doesn't quite hit on the pounce for Zaki, but the Bat Riders already killed off Afu. Ajit jumped onto Slark. Not going to be able to have enough damage. And if they can find this kill here, this would be huge. Oh my god, Naga Siren getting killed off. That is not where you needed to be. Further afoot on the other side of the map, they get the silence onto Nana. And again, the Scarab Mage is just the perfect answer to him. This is exactly what they needed. Trying to create space to the best of his ability. And it looks like he might be able to escape from this one. Needs to pop that rune ASAP, though. And there's going to be the chase. Yeah, he's good. Man, Skyrath Mage living through that whole fight was absurd here. We're now at a 16 minutes. It feels like there's enough aggression. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's going to come down to Naga versus the world because this Timber Saw isn't feeling like an issue as Raji blinks in. A little bit of a delayed reaction means he might not get the lasso off. They are going to go through. Okay, that's just going to be Necro saying, I'll hold him down. Skyrath, you punch him. And another kill going the way of Yamate. That's good stuff across the board. Zaki going to go down here. Dark Pack along with that Echo Saber soon to be online. Like, he's already got a good chunk of damage. Slark is just a monster at this point. Um, so, 17 to 8, the net worth lead swinging further and further down. And this is how they keep it going. Um, they can still keep these towers at least a little bit at bay with Afu. Like, all of the Heroes for Warriors game in Unity are just all defensive. And it's that straight up 4 protect 1 strat that we've seen over and over again. Um, it's just going to be a measure of, of like, if Warriors came in unit. I mean, they have the heroes that, that do counter it with the Batrider and that Reaper Scythe. And now pulling back oh, off, though, oh. he's going to end up going down again very rapidly. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing he can do for this. The tower should end up burning as well, unless they want to fully rotate Naga. But she just desperately needs her farm here. She's going to be getting her Radiance very shortly, but... So I, I still think that this game is a lot closer than it might seem. And if Tarian overextend, if they lose one engagement, if they play less than perfectly for a second, they might end up losing the game still. All right, we've got that lasso drag. That is declare Necrosite mentioned off. There will be a very, very nice Earth Splitter connecting onto as many as possible. Now Ajit is going to go through Psionix at an all-you-can-eat buffet. Just go and pounce and dark packing up everyone. Deepen his way out of that roar. So when invests a lot for that. There is going to be Necro to keep him all healthy, all alive. And Ling might pay the ultimate price for this. As she's the slowest. She might get poached off here. But uh, overall, still not a bad trade. She's actually turning this. The Psionic comes right back in. They've got the scythe. They're going to be turning this forward. Dear Lady loses her life. But at what cost here? There is going to be Naga singing. And there's a TP out from Wen. I mean, Beastmaster TPing away from Kiras where he otherwise could be able to engage. Now, somehow, I still alive. Nana going to be falling as well. And that's going to be. Uh, Timber saw dead with no buyback for the sixth time. That was not the play for the Timber saw. That was, I mean, they they got pretty bold there. And again, just, I mean, it's an instant cast ability to silence them up. Um, as we see the illusions pull the creep wave back again. This game, uh, that that was just not the play for the Timber. They're they're still in a really great position for Tarring. They're going to try and reload. The fact that there are going to be some uh, radiant heroes looking for something. So. Uh, Psionix doesn't want to YOLO too deeply onto these racks. There are going to be some sentries pop down. They go for the Hex onto Psionix. And that Slark going to be a non-issue for the next little bit. There will be Raji sitting there getting the lasso up. They should have enough raw damage for win. That's going to be a Reaper Scythe. No buyback on that Beastmaster. They're looking for more. They will get down the Titan. So two dead all of a sudden on the side of Unity. They're looking for more. They are going to get the chase here onto Zaki. Leaving them be for now as they've got their eyes on bigger prizes. They want to go straight for the racks. Perhaps lock down the Timber. So minutes. They really haven't accelerated anything. And now there's going to be initiation onto the Yamate. They are going to bring in the Enchantress trying to do something. Some sort of return damage. Yamate is still alive. Hex is going to end. They do bring in the net though. Can they get down the Necro here? He's going for the Reaper Scythe onto Wed. Not going to do enough damage. It's kind of a YOLO Scythe coming in. He's still alive. This Broink's doing some work, but finally the Earth Spike will be able to lock him down. Timbersaw getting the credit for that. A thousand gold going Timber's way. Looks like Zaki could be in some trouble, but they're going to bring in the Song of the Siren, Naga Siren. Very nice defensive song there. Is able to go through. Bail out that Lion. Bail out everyone else. Timbersaw. He's still up fighting. Nana will end up going with suicide, but. Uh, in the end, that's definitely worthwhile, getting down Tarring's big boy hero.
Yeah, certainly. I mean, if you're able to take him down, your push on, uh, and Naga Siren is a hero, so that's <laughs> frustrating. Uh, Nana, Nana also is, is going to end up uh, potentially dying here. You might need to invest into a Blink Dagger pretty soon for him, but um, is going to get brought down by the Reaper Sight. So again, another thing that's just uh, very difficult, and this is the other way that, that Tarring try and take back over this game, is if they find those picks, that's now 60 seconds without a, a Timber Saw to continue to push out the lanes along with the Naga. Um, so there's a lot of pieces here that are great for Tarring still. It's just a matter of getting everything together perfectly. And it's like the perfect execution, the perfect couple of minutes that allows them to have a creep wave as they're pushing up high ground. And as soon as they get that, they're going to be in a great spot as Batrider finds the pick on the Lion. Yeah, they got a cute little jump there. Meanwhile, there is going to be some pressure. They pop out those Neckers, they pop out the Naga Illusions onto this top tower, so... Four creeps are all you need, and they haven't been able to keep them back out with the Naga Siren. She sent her illusions all up towards the top, thinking that the Manta style has been to be here quickly enough, and now back to her protection is off. Like, this is the opening. Taurine have to go in right here, and this oh, is the way oh. to make it start. Perfect initiation. That's just all of a sudden the alley oop coming out. Beastmaster dead. Uh, he did die with that roar off cooldown, so not able to go get that control. Earth Splitter not going to fly through, and they will lose ice here, so they've got a little bit less lockdown. The Atos back offline. Psyonix pops the BKB. Uh, he's got his eyes on the prize, just wants to go in for objectives. He's hitting backdoor protections up. The pipes being the most ultra late game hero. So there's at some point going to be a switch in momentum. Yamate is sitting on the back lines. They know something's going to be afoot. They're getting those pings going through. There's going to be psionics going in. He gets some nice eyes here. They are going to invest the lasso onto Afu. Nothing he can do about that. Quick pick onto him. And now Unity, they're fighting with one down, perhaps two down here. There is going to be a TP. Zaki getting canceled out, not able to get home. And he's going to be uh, taking a scythe to the face. It's not going to kill him off. So that scythe is on cooldown for 45 seconds. But still, it's going to be enough to allow for that opening as uh, Unity. They're still applying some pressure to this top lane, but they've got to rotate back for this. They cannot afford to lose a full Anaraxmid to his little heart's content and allows Psyonix to solo take this Roche. But again, there's just too many bodies here from Warrior. This could be pretty detrimental here. If Tarring throw a huge fight, it's going to get yucky. But I don't know if that's going to happen. The top of the primer orb, there is going to be that lasso already committed onto Nana. The Reaper side coming in as well. It's going to be a dead timber for 80 seconds. These piped Necro illusion, or red, these piped Necro units are to kill. Zaki coming in, lands a nice spike. There is going to be a stomp to follow up. They're bringing the Naga. Does she have enough damage to get the job done? Afu going to sit there, taking that Dark Pact. That's going to be another kill. Double kill for Yamate. And when now he's got himself no Roar. He's got himself a TP, but he's just going to get plunked down. They've got plenty of damage to get the job done. Naga, the lone survivor here. She'd love herself an Aegis, but no, she's probably going to have to back off unless she wants to full YOLO as the Roche goes down. It's a little bit early, son. This Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, God. Right back what on out done? of there. That is a unfortunate timing for the Naga Siren. She pops out the mat. They're trying to defend against what she can. Pops out the defusal onto uh, illusions and whatnot. But uh, either way, leap after Ajit making a lot of space, I guess. But it's most likely going to result in her doom. They get the flame break to cancel the TP. And that's a godlike streak out for the Slark. She's dead for 60 seconds. Does have buyback. But there's going to be two lives on this Slark very shortly. Yeah, and I, I, we talked about the way that Tarring needed to play this. They needed to play it perfectly, where they didn't give up any kills, really have an ability to fight. Also, no buyback on the Naga Siren that's really going to be a substance, because like, if she buys back at this point, you're so far behind on the net worth. So she's probably going to try and stay this alive as long as possible. Nana going to be controlled, brought right down by the Reaper Scythe as of yet. BKB still there for Sionix. The second one is going to come through, though, and oh. that time he's going to end up being brought down. 85 seconds, no Timber Saw, and Afu just trying to run away. My goodness, they're bullying. Him. Well, uh, I mean, maybe Ling oversteps her bounce here, takes two ulties, still completely fine. A Skyrath coming in, my boy brings it home. He's doing all right here. He's got that 3 3 22 kill score. Say what you will, but Skyrath is a viable hero in the meta. Absolutely. Does it for the memes. We got Ajit who's <laughs> looking for something, something. Might be able to do a decent enough damage to kill off Ice. He's going to be able to walk away. No, he gets brought down finally. Off, it's gonna drop as well. Oh, and yeah, this is this is pretty much over at this point. This is gonna be two racks down. No, it's you. Towering lost Skyrat. They've got no chance. Oh my goodness, it's a rough life. And they, they do have the creeps in the base that are uh, gonna be able to give them enough backdoor protection to go for the third one. I mean, Naga Siren can probably keep this game alive for a while longer at this point. Oh, nah, it's no, it's GG, but. No, no. It's, it's it's a situation where, like, at that point, you're, you're fighting for nothing. So 
Good game, well played. Tarring, doing it big. Yeah, you were talking about how Warriors game and are looking strong, but Tarring just looking that much sharper, playing clean. But I think a big portion of this game was won in the drafts both times, just being able to go through, read what Warriors game.